Kaz here as always, and welcome to a video on The Crust, a game where we are tasked with the last hope of humanity of harnessing the resources of the moon. Let's see how that goes. Due to engineers breaking everything on the planet Earth, the architects are now having to save humanity via the moon. Engineers have broken Earth, and it's up to the architects to save humanity via the moon. This is our little lunar colony, and we're going to be seeing how this goes right so we've got a couple of cargo pods to bring down look at all this look at the, like you can go way 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 up here and the amount of detail you can actually check this demo out for yourselves on the steam store at the moment i think for the steam next fest and well without further ado let's get you down and you down hello there cargo pods what you down what goodies are you going to give me oh look at the detail to get started, land the cargo pods. There we go. We've landed both cargo pods. They're opening up. Is that, is that drones? Oh, look at that. They're adorable. Hello, little guys. How are you doing? All right. So we have to place some solar panels there. Medium solar panel. All right. And we're just kind of boop and boop. All right. So we get the drones in there. We've got a right click. Well, oh, conveyor. Now, one of the things I've seen that's very interesting about this is you can build on the lat on the top surface, but it's also underground. That's going to be pretty cool to see. Let's see. Oh, look at that little... <laughs> the way they bounce along the, the lunar surface as well. That is so cool. Oh, look at them go. Hello. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Excellent. And I'm going to pop out. You can see it's like dug itself into the ground as well. And I'm guessing that's going to turn to where the sunshine is. Maybe. Oh, oh, oh. There, there we go. That is so cool. They're working on that one, and we've got this. So, explore, explore the lunar surface and manage expeditions. You've got a journal here. We can... Wait a minute. Oh, my. Where is that? Is that this? Yes. Oh, that is cool. It looks like this is all our resources, but hey, let's see what we've got to see. Not a bad start at all. Alice, can you hear me? Your drones did a good job, better than we expected. All the energy from these panels is yours but now it's crucial to conserve it if you want to work during the night. To achieve that, you'll need batteries. It's all good, Robert. I completely understand you. We were already going to build batteries anyway. Uh Director, he's correct. A lunar night lasts nearly 14 and a half Earth days in the absence of sunlight. What? And batteries are crucial for us. Construct four batteries next to the solar panels. All right. Am I not allowed to use any of this? You're just showing me it all, but I'm only allowed my four. Aye, aye, aye. What is this about? Uh, now, how do I... Oh, ours to turn it? Nope. Let's not put you there. Let's uh, move you. Can I move you a little bit? There we go. We can get rid of you, and then we can pop you down right here. What do you want me to build a charging station? Okay. Charging station. Let's just swing you around, pop you down. I'm guessing that's going to be for charging our little drone. There we go. So you see here, output capacity is 680, last four, plus, plus, plus. That's not exactly helpful in any shape or form. What does that mean? Ay, 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 ay. Right. They're building that, and those three are building this. Excellent. You can even see a progress bar, which is very nice. Look at this, little guys. Oh, do you do them? All right, so not enough power to run the module. Hmm? Your drones did a pretty good job, but the wiring tool is only operable by a human. Wire the panels and the batteries together. Next, oh. you just need to power up Night. the elevator. Night. Then you'll gain access to the underground level. Aha! I stole your power. That doesn't count. Fine. There we go. Switch to the underground. Boop. Ooh, build the drone reconfiguration module. All right, let's see. What do we got here? Drone reconfigure. Ooh. Now, what are, your way in and out seems to be sort of those doors at the side. You can't really go that way, so you need a little bit of space. So let's get you down there. Are they going to, like, come down the lift? Oh, my God, they are. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that is cool. Excellent. There you go, and you can see here's all the materials you need. We have a lot of materials, but I'm assuming because we're doing a little bit of the campaign, that's what you need. Oxygen mode. We don't need oxygen, no. Unless we... Colonists? Ah, so the robots are set to do things. Drones idle, bug report. Ah, we don't need to bug report anything. What are we waiting on? A couple of more smart concrete. You can actually salvage conveyors, wires, clothes, mining, like right on the get-go there. There we go. Excellent. 
Ah, look at that. Oh, okay. Uh, nope. Wires. Wire. Connect it there. Pardon my curiosity, but how are you going to extract lunar regolith with robot carriers? I am far from a robotic expert, of course, but it seems like we have more questions than answers at this point. That's an excellent question, Robert, and I'd be delighted to answer it. Where to go? However, I need to wrap up something first. Director, what? with the reconfiguration module, you can convert up to five worker drones to mining drones and vice versa. Is that the mining one? Convert four drones into mining drones. Oh, four. And okay. set an excavation zone for them. Excavation? Now, let's okay. order the drones to start the excavation. Ooh. You need to use the highlighting tool and mark Ooh. areas for mining, and the digging drones will do the rest. Robert, to answer your question, our company has been providing repair and maintenance services for robotics and mining equipment for over 10 years. We were involved in the development and maintenance of technology for lunar mining along with the first industrial expeditions to the moon, even before the construction of the space elevator and the full-scale development of the moon by mankind. And I'm pleased to inform you, Robert, that by accumulating our vast experience, we have been able to develop and implement multifunctional drone technology that can be re-equipped for a variety of tasks. As a special bonus, I can include a coloring book set so you oh. can brighten up your leisure time at work. Oh, wow. She is not very nice. <laughs> oh, wow. You do your job and I'll mind my own business. By the way, I'll grab a few coloring books as souvenirs for the kids. I'll be heading uh. home in two weeks. Director, I understand that I can be difficult at times, but your Alice is also quite remarkable. She reminds me of my ex-wife. We're all still on the same channel, Robert. So what's up with those coloring books? I'll send them to your wife along with some flowers. Yeah, I'm going to put down another chair. What the? Uh, I, I didn't do anything. What the? Uh, whoa. Um. Oh. Uh, that wasn't me. Me. That wasn't me. I didn't do anything. That was not me. I blame the engineers. They were the, the cause of this. Although that is hurling moon rock at the space station. I didn't do it. I mean, look at all this. What the heck caused that? It was mining away and suddenly poof, the entire moon just goes poof. All right, sure. I mean, we've still got our drones, it seems to be. Do you read me? According to the data, there are no survivors on the base, but I had to check. And I shouldn't have said anything about flowers. There we go. Now we need to fix the elevator, which is, of course, fixed. So we now have this. We can also see we still have this little guy down here, which is always nice. Director, Crust have made an official statement. I will put oh. it on the screen. Oh. On this day, an unexpected asteroid impact occurred. On an the asteroid the moon. hit the moon? We are currently working tirelessly to reestablish contact with lunar outposts and assess the situation. The number of casualties, if any, is being verified. Oh, okay. How did four orbital stations get blown up? Although the fifth one is not exactly operational. I mean, uh, I don't know if you call this operational. I don't like him. He seems... I don't know. It's like something is just... No, nah, doesn't sit with me. All right. We need to get things going a little bit then. Professor, is that even a possibility? Collision of an asteroid with the moon. That's plausible. However, the possibility of not detecting an asteroid of that size and predicted trajectory in time raises another question. Mm -hmm. anyway, we've received your request for research projects. Let's finish the current tasks first, and then we'll address it. So it looks like we're getting the regular of presser, and we will see how that goes. We I built a couple of extras of them because we are really... I want to generate mo much, much more to be able to fill up the battery capacity. So before a uh, daytime come, daytime, nighttime. Why? Why did it, like? How do you not detect a gigantic asteroid heading towards the moon? Like that seems. I don't know. Something seems off to me. But hey, there we go. Research is now done for that. We do have a daily income of resources. You can see here we've, what we've got is production right now. I'm going to also get the smelting going. There we go. Uh, we just need to wait on them digging all that out. We do have drones that are not really doing anything right now, but we will be able to start getting things going because we do have the ore detector. So what we could do is we're going to pop that down there. This is getting constructed quite nicely. You're digging that out nicely. Excellent. So we have the fact that we can activate this. Alrighty. And we have to build a pressing module. I already built that. 
So I'm guessing I wasn't meant to build that yet. Oh well, that's me told. <laughs> Let's pop you. I mean, we could just pop you here, or do we want to? You know, yeah. You know what? We'll put you there. There we go. Put you there. Get you built up. We've got chunks mined. Quite a few. Whoopsie. <laughs> Why are you not getting this? Oh, this is red. So I'm assuming we can't go through that quite yet. But they're building our pressing module, which is superb. He said to build a bulk resource storage. Now, the only thing is, he told me to do build the bulk resource storage. But the bulk resource storage requires titanium plates, which we don't have access to. Or we don't have the ability to build any yet. Anyway, so that's a thing. If we go topside, though, we could look at actually putting down a, like a general resource storage so we can actually have uh, our stuff pulled off of the ground, which might be a better idea. So let's just pop you down and pop you down. We'll put two of them just to get things started. And boop. So we've got silicon and iron over there. Jeez. To convert the oxide into usable resources. Although we haven't tested this technology yet, theoretically, it should work as intended. Theoretically? Theoretically? Are you sure that it's worth taking the risk at this moment? Our whole enterprise is now one big risk. It can't be eliminated even if we do absolutely nothing. So yes, I'm quite certain about that. Oh, he seems so friendly and so good. It's like, yeah, okay. All right, we need to build a furnace. And is that going to be here? Smelting furnace, which... Uh, Turns goodies into goodies. And I believe we can actually just put this down here. Uh, okay. Select recipe. Steel. Smelting furnace always requires oxide to begin production of any resource. Select the necessary research and we will start working on it immediately. I've already got it. <laughs> I'm one step ahead of you. Director, unauthorized signal on hmm? one. I didn't do anything. You might want to hear this. I'm putting it on the main screen. Director, my name is Clyde Trapper and I directly represent the interests of Crust. We are aware of your activity in the moon and that you're trying to keep your company and equipment. Perhaps this is where we can help each other. The primary task will be to... No, but shush this now. Thank you. The primary task will be to examine the nearby repeater. You're now operating beyond the confines of fair competition and industrial espionage regulations. Uh, the moon blew up and you're like, oh, you know, it's like, you know, industrial espionage. Shush. Research right. Complete. Not only have we almost lost all our equipment and communication, now we also have crust to deal with. By the way, Wilfrey, it seems they haven't forgotten about you either. Anyway, Director, let's see what we got. Land the pod with the rover and we will proceed. All right, so we have to actually go top side and we have to land the rover. Get down here, little guy. I do wonder if we can build more drones because we actually only have like 10 right now and they're like, well, they're there. But hey, we got a rover now. It's kind of cool. Nothing. You can see here we have three levels to this game. Like you have the planetary, you've got the surface, and then the underground. Like that is really cool. This needs repaired. Like really, really cool. We've got this. Um, it's already mined that out, actually. What we want to do is we actually want to get a conveyor belt because we can actually do that. And that's where your credits are used. Bring this to here and then bring that along. So we can actually just have that sort of area going excellent but we can build this and yeah that's going to be bringing goodies in so we will plop that right here oh repeater was severely damaged after the explosion central console reported total damage failure shut down but the rover's examination helped uncover surviving storage according to its name can only get one type of oxide at a time be sure to select the iron oxide recipe to start production. I need to restore this lovely little other rover out there, but we, we can't really do that right now. It needs components. I, I mean, we have some components, actually. What else do you need? You need steel. A lot of steel. Wow. Okay, yeah, that's the thing. And, and we'll bring that this way, and then we'll bring that to there. Build. There we go. So, this now feeds from this into this but then it takes 20 of this to make 12.3 of that i'm assuming that's because it's coming straight from this ore vein which is nice so as that oh we put three that way back so whoopsie so yeah that is now doing that and we just have to kind of wait excellent look at it go oh yeah that is going that is charging through that superb what we want to do is get one of these set up. Silicon, smart brick, and steel. 
So these work in a way that you can have them going in or out, which is actually kind of nice. So I'm actually going to put that down. And then we're going to actually bring that straight down there. And that is going to be steel. Then we have a location for our steel. Superb. Excellent. Look at it go. We have steel production is now automated. We now need to get silicon, I think. One eternity later. This is now nearly built. Come on. Oh, no, 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 don't break it. Don't break it. No, 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 no. Oh, Oops. I'll be back once I fix that. There, fixed it. Now it's turning away. Excellent. And that should actually allow us to get some uh, silicon, which we will then use to start making our, our silicon oxide, I believe it's called. Is that what it's all called? Silicon, yeah. Which we can then use to actually make our silicon. But we, first of all, also want to get this cleared out. And we will need a smelter, smelting furnace, which I will place directly below that i think actually will probably be the best thing for it i'm just trying to work out like what's better to do for this area and i'm thinking we're gonna dig this because we're keeping that for that but we could also then keep this the silicon production we send it down here and that can go left or right if we so desire so we can actually do this and i'm gonna actually do this so it can get that all cleared out we did have that sent out there, so we can actually send you over to the repeater. Start an expedition, cargo, resources, max out, send. You should go to the wreckage and investigate. And you are on your way, I believe. According to that, you the entire lunar navigation system that is order and the situation is more dire than expected. Pay close attention to what I'm about to say. From now on, uh, LL information received from Crust is to be treated as classified. Your task is to organize and ensure the success of the expedition. To accomplish this, two essential elements required. Navigation data for operating vehicles and robust life support system. I'm guessing I need to get people. I don't want to get people, but I guess Director, I'm going to need to. Another set of drones as a token of... Director, we can't afford to be without power. Consider adding more solar panels and batteries to our infrastructure. Additionally, constructing a generator that can produce electricity from fuel might be necessary for surviving lunar nights. I'm not generating enough, actually, here. That's a sm smidgen of a problem. Get this in, and this in, and this in, and this in. But we have finally got more drones! Yes! Excellent! There we go. Excellent. Things are moving very nicely. Car confirm cargo unload. Ooh. Yes, bring yourself in, buddy. Oh, hey, look at this. Hey. Oh, wow. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. There is, a, there is some titanium plates in there. That is exactly what I needed. I mean, this the slag is here, so it's like kind of like where do you want to put that as well? Which I'm thinking we actually need to build out. We're going to go this way. And we're going to go this way. I'm going to bring that down from there. Yeah, that is exactly what we're going to do. And then there's going to be a, a, like, a sort of slag facility. And ideally what we can then end up doing is then through this area is like we can actually like up these as they go along if we want. And then they have like a, a sort of... Oh, they actually all switched around there. Okay. But then we'll be able to like, link them through each other and delete as we so see fit, basically. And what did we get? We got the Smart Concrete Factory. Turns slag and silicon into smart concrete. So we can actually like use the slag. I like how all the lights are on because obviously the lights are created from this and it's so cool. We do have a little bit of silicon, a little bit of that. We need to get more silicon, but I suppose we did use a ton of it on this. The only problem is... Yeah, th that's going to be a small smidgen of a problem. Uh, I need to power some of this down at the moment. We need to save our, our energy, which we have, like, none of. So, yeah. But at least I can get the, the slag place down. And that can, you know, uh, I'll put that down. We can then bring this this way. And then bring it that way. Bring it into there. And you as well. There we go. And now they can get rid of all that just now. Click resource, and it's going to be that. If we ever need it, it's going to be in there. They are clearing up, I guess. Or the, no, no, they're building that now. There we go. I know the power is off because I have no power to have. I need to generate more and we don't have any. There was a... Is it in here? 
A electric generator. Good old hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrocarbon geez, generator adapted to streaming conditions. Give me that. It's kind of a shame you don't see it, but I know it's an early preview, but you don't actually see the, the sort of accumulating there. But I hope that could change if it's not too much for the engine. That be, could be pretty cool. We need energy. It would be nice to know when the sun comes up because I can't work this out because uh, it does seem to be 17.4 of 2080. That's so long in the future. We can actually salvage anything at the moment. Send a rover to the cargo terminal. Okay, where is the cargo terminal? Aid lab. You can exchange money for science points. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Star expedition. Investigate. Here, yeah, right. Things can now be put back on. Oh, paid lab. Um, fundamental. Give me, so, 100 for, give me 500. Insufficient, for, oh, 60? Confirm. Hey, I don't know if that actually helped in any way, shape, or form. So that's fun. Right, so this is, uh, yeah, I'm going to put it in here because then this is going to be a point where they can put the, the resources in. I don't think that's going to, yeah, we need to make it a smidgen bigger. There we go. And then we can actually put the rest of the, all of this regolith into this and then it can feed out into everything and actually, you know, start to help it out. And things please stop breaking. No, <laughs> it'll pick up everything from around there and it will head out in the different directions, which is superb. You now have somewhere to actually put it, which is always ideal. And this is once this is done, I'm actually going to, you know, place this here. To go to how far can you go that way? Okay, filled. And then we'll bring you into there and you out to there. That's set up. We can also sell this bit and get some of that cash back. There we go. Why are we suddenly going down and... Oh, because it's not daytime anymore. <laughs> but there we go. So they're now feeding that all into these. You can see here that's going quite nicely. It does mean there's not as much... Like, you can see here the this is dropped down. So it will get different pure... Like, it's getting a pure vein from there. Or closer to the pure vein. Um, But it does mean that the they'll have to use more to get what you need out of it but hey it happens we're getting we've got silicon production everything's very much producing quite nicely oh wait is that building up in there or is that just a graphic glitch i have no idea how much can this take Nine thousand. jeez that's 512 we've got that going quite nicely superb excellent yeah these guys are moseying on around we could take one of them off i think just to get things going we could build the landing pad. Do we have the land? No, we're still researching the landing pad. We need to unlock it, build it, send the rover to the cargo terminal. Did we send it? Where did we send it to? We went down here. Okay. Car demolish, demolish structure. You go that way. Start. We actually send you there too? No. You have to already be there. Stress call, wreckage, cargo terminal, coordinates. You'll get there momentarily. Look at the amount of cleanup we're actually having to do. Wow. Although it is sending that all out, which is nice. And so everything is keeping there. So they will, fa you know, all get in there eventually. You can see that has dropped to 4.5. So it's kind of like a, a trade-off. You, you know, the silicon is getting through right now. is only 23%. But at least we'll have, you know, this all out the way. And we could actually, like, you know, stop that being produced if we want to. Is 50, like, the maximum or something? Or is that just because we're making a good amount? Or is that in our... I think that's actually up here. Yeah. Build a landing platform. Okay. Give me the landing platform. Where is the landing platform? This. Right, we're going to actually pop you right here. Why not? It needs four. It actually doesn't need very much, does it? <laughs> it really doesn't need particularly that much in terms of steel. It's mostly the concrete and zoom. They're going fast. What is this? Increased mining speed. Lift for conveyor belts. <gasps> That's where that... But we don't have any green yet just now. Yeah, there's no surface scan. It allows you to scan the immediate area for detailed Check mapping. Oh, hello. Million opportunities. Excellent. That's kind of cool. That is really cool. I'm assuming we can actually have more than one landing site, but I think we're going to need more units, basically, as well. Uh, we do need to get more of our these guys, don't we? I mean, we are making 300. I think we need to... Yeah, because that is going up quite... Director. The fund should have been deposited into our account by now. Yay! With the successful execution of these contracts, we are well on our way to surpassing our expectations and fully covering the costs of our lunar expedition. We need to build more 
everything. As in, we need more power. But ah, that's around the wrong way. I'm not. I'm going to ignore it just now. We're generating a lot, and we also have a lot for capacity, which is going to be highly advantageous, at least during the night. We the creator. Oh, we received sixty. Of that right. We got a new. There we go. And we've got you. You need steel. How much steel do we have? You have 161. All right. There we go. And you want 60. Okay. We'll give you some 60. And we will send. We just need to wait. On. Send the rover to the cargo hub. Okay. Rover. That's not the rover. That's the rover. And we will send you to there. Send that. Off you go. Excellent. Voila. Everything's moving quite nicely. Guys, this has been The Crust. I have really enjoyed what I've seen so far and hopefully you have as well. If you want to see a little bit more, let me know. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.